Raytown, Missouri, there lives a woman named Theta Benningfield. She has a husband, two children, seven grandchildren, and a busy life. What makes this grandmother so unusual? When I first started flying, many members of the family thought I had completely <laughs> lost my mind. I didn't start to fly until I was 48 years old. In the 10 years that I've been flying, I got a private license, a commercial license, an instrument rating, an instructor's rating. I'm an instrument instructor, and I also have a seaplane rating. After that first 30-minute lesson, I didn't know whether I'd ever get a license, but I just had to know whether I could solo that airplane, whether I would really have courage enough, knowledge enough, ability, that when the day came that the instructor said, all right, you can solo, whether I'd really go off by myself or whether I'd just grab him around the neck and say, don't leave me. <laughs> McComas in the Tom said in 649, we're clear of the Aki runway. I have a problem finding time for my grandchildren. <laughs> Many times it'll be um, four weeks, six weeks, that we do not see them because they're a busy family and we're a busy family and we just don't have time to get together. Mrs. Benningfield has part-time employment in a doctor's office. Her job gives her the opportunity to work with people. She also likes to keep busy by doing work for charity organizations. She is president of the Union City Mission Auxiliary. The Union City Mission has been gathering clothes and food for needy people in the Kansas City area for 50 years. feel that um, aviation is a real challenging thing. It's a real fun thing. I tell people that if they want to learn to fly, they can learn to fly. If they really want to do it. that we all have as flight instructors, of course, is making a safe pilot. And the thing that will be uppermost will be the decisions that they will have to make. Decisions about weather, the distances that they are able to fly, deciding that they are familiar with their aircraft. Every time I go into the air, there's something else that I learn, and I don't believe when you're flying that you can sit back and, and let some of these things pass by. You just have to keep learning. And then I just think, well, how wonderful it is that someone came up with this airplane that would put me up here in the air, because it is a beautiful thing to fly, really. 